So hello and welcome to the first actual tutorial on Sony Vegas. This video I'm going to be showing how to trim clips, how to split clips, and then just move them around in the video just so you can get some basics of how to edit. So we're going to start by opening Sony Vegas Pro here. Just simply double click on it or find where you've got it saved on your computer and then open it up. So now we're in Sony Vegas and there's three main areas I would like to point out. This black screen over here, this is your preview window. This is where you're going to be able to see the footage you're editing and see what it looks like. On the bottom, which is where you'll spend most of your time actually doing work, is the timeline. This is essentially where all your clips will go in and when you hit play, you can see this line will just go across the clips and show you what you've edited. Then up here in this window, we've got a few different tabs which do different things, which I will get into more in the future on different tutorials. But for now, all you need to know is you need to be on project media because this is where you're going to import your clips to which you want to edit. So at start, you're going to go up here to this little logo and hit import media. Now here I have some footage from the San Francisco trip I went on, which if you haven't checked out my main channel, then check it out because that's where I do my main vlogs. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just select a few clips. I'm going to choose these three here and then I'm just going to click open and now these clips are in. I'm just using these clips as an example to show you how to edit. Uh, the footage itself doesn't necessarily matter. It depends what you want to edit and what you are putting in. So the first step is you need to actually move the footage onto the timeline so it can be seen in a video. So I'm just going to choose this one here and drag and drop. And then Vegas Pro will ask if I want to set my video project settings to match the media. Now this is optional, you don't have to. Basically what this means is it will set the project to the same settings you've got your camera. I always record on my Nikon D3300 at 1080p 50fps. Um, I know some people may say you can record 60fps but for some reason if you get it in the UK it's only 50fps. But because of this I'm going to hit yes because I want my project to match my footage. So once you have the footage in the timeline you can see it here. If you hit space you'll be able to play the video. I have to be excited. Don't scrub this minute. You have to be excited. Magical so that's just one of the clips I got when I was on my way to San Francisco. Um, if you want to add more clips into the video, you can literally just drag them onto the timeline. Quick tip, this arrow here shows where the preview is going to show. So if you want to look at the video from the start, make sure this is moved all the way to the start before hitting space. You can also hit play at the bottom here. If we play this now, we'll see there's actually a gap between the clips. Because you can see that we've put a gap here. I have to be excited. And then it goes black for a bit as it's passing this bit, and then the next clip will come on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move these clips closer together. So now you can see the touching each other, which means they'll go straight from one to the other clip. If your clips seem a bit too small and you want to see them in a bit better detail, you can just use the scroll wheel to zoom in. Uh, this will kind of extend the clips. It's not actually extending the duration of the clips, there's still just the amount of time, but it's just zooming in what you can see more. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is how to trim a clip. This is quite an easy step, but it is used a lot in making videos. This is probably the thing I use the most, along with splitting videos. So to trim a clip, let's say I want to start this video a bit further in. Let's say here when you can see my dad's face. I'm just going to click the beginning of the clip where it says trim event start. Hold it down and drag it to the line because that's where I wanted it. You can drag it anywhere really because um, on the preview you can see where it's going to actually start the clip. But I'm just going to drag it here because that's where I found I like. I'm also going to move the clip back on the timeline just so it starts at the zero seconds. So now we can see it starts there. It's a magical At the end of the video here, there's this nasty noise which is made and I want to cut that out. And you can actually see the audio spikes on the audio track. So if I just drag this event to before that noise and then hit play just before it, it's a magical you can see it cuts out before that bad noise happens. So that's how you can trim the end of a clip. Now I'm also going to show you how to split clips. This is also a really easy thing to do. Um, I'm going to use this clip as an example. So let's say for whatever reason I wanted to take out the middle section of this clip. To split a clip you select on the clip where you want it to split so I'm just going to choose this little point here and then I hit S on the keyboard and as you can see it's split the clip into two clips now. You can do this as many times as you want along a clip and you can end up with as many segments as you want. I'm just going to undo that by hitting Ctrl Z a few times. But just as an example, I'm going to do another split just after there. 
And now I've got this smaller clip in the middle. I'm then going to delete these two outside clips. I can do this by just selecting the clip and pressing delete on the keyboard. Same with this one. And then I'm going to move this clip onto the end of there. So now I'm going to play the video and you'll be able to see that the beginning and end of the first clip have been trimmed off and a small segment of the second clip has stayed in the video. I have to be excited. It was so much money. I have to be excited. It's a magical place. So that small clip of the second clip was very short, but uh, you, you, you can see how this can be used to do a lot more just stringing basic clips together and you can make a lot of basic videos of this um, and then you can build upon these skills more in the future to make better more complicated videos that's where i'm going to end this video here so if you like the tutorial and it helped then leave a like subscribe if you've got any questions about the tutorial then just ask in the comments below or hit me up on social media and um, also be sure to check out my main channel that because that's where i edit better and stuff so yeah i'll see you next time